Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. These are today's projects we're going to create. These are some adorable little Hershey Nugget treat holders. Super simple and easy to make. And I did totally steal this off of Pinterest, and I'm not sure who the demo was, but God bless ya. Um, we're gonna use the Spooky Cat stamp set. This is in our holiday catalog. And we're also going to use the Spooky Nights designer series paper. And that is the cat that comes in the paper. It's already printed and the cat punch matches it. So it was just a punch out. And the little moon paper or the little moon piece is paper as well. It's a whole sheet. And all you do is just cut the little moon boxes in three by three strips. Crazy, crazy simple. So let's go ahead and get started with a piece of crumb cake designer series, or crumb cake cardstock, sorry. And it is um, three inches by eight and a quarter. And we're gonna score at one and three eighths. Two, yep, one and three eighths. One and seven eighths. Three and one quarter and three and three quarters. That's all we need to do there. So let me get this big thing out of the way. And then we're just going to fold on all of our scores. So it's already kind of starting to roll up into the shape it needs to be. So how easy is that? So I'm gonna take that little piece here of my <clears throat> spooky night paper, my moon, and we're gonna make the owl today. So I'm gonna stamp him in crumb cake ink, and he is photopolymer, which is great. So you can see right through that to have him sit on his little branch. Get my owl there, and then I'm going to use some memento black ink, and I do like the memento because it comes off the photopolymer so easily, it's not gonna stain. So I'm gonna use that Happy Halloween, and this also has his eyeballs on it. So when you stamp it, you're gonna match up his eyes and then his little belly will have the message. And I'm having a little bit of a glare, so I'm gonna go for it. Not too shabby if I do say so. Now there is a stamp that will do his beak and his feet, but I thought it is just as quick and easy to grab your So Saffron marker and just color his little feet in. And then in the smaller end, I'm just gonna make his beak yellow. And that's just so that it stands out just a little bit more. Now I'll take that piece and I'm gonna attach that to the top of my treat holder. <clears throat> so that's gonna go right here and it's gonna line up exactly. Okay, now how this is gonna roll up, this is the front. This is where you wanna have some designer paper there as well. And so I've got this little piece here. Um, to attach there and I will make sure the measurements are in my comments <clears throat> so that you can make lots of these at home. Okay, that's gonna go on here. And so now what I would do is put some adhesive on here and I'm gonna roll that up and attach it and it makes that little box in there. Now you don't have to because as you can tell, the ribbon is gonna hold your treats inside there. So you wouldn't have to actually glue it, but I do because it gave it a little bit more stability. Now, there's a reason why I'm not going to glue this down. I want it to be flat. So I'll tell you that in a minute. So what I also did was take strips of our designer series paper, and this is one inch by three inches. I just kind of used my fingers, or you could use your bone folder, and just kind of made it <clears throat> start to bend a little bit. It, it's going to wrap around your Hershey nugget. Okay, so we're gonna take a little nugget and I'm gonna do some snail adhesive on here. Make sure you get the ends real well because you want it to stay, um, stay tight. You don't want it to come apart. And you're just going to wrap three nuggets, okay? Um, oh yes, here they are. I thought I lost my nuggets. 
Um, they seem to get eaten when they're here. I don't know what happens, but my hand just puts them in my mouth and it's not good. Not good, I tell you. All right, so I am actually down. There was a whole bowl here and we're down to like two. Um, my kids know that too, or I shouldn't say my kids, my husband and my son. So every time there's, it's like they have a sixth sense to know that there's candy in my stamp studio. And every time they walk through here, they grab a handful. All right, so we've got three nuggets all wrapped nice and cute. And so you can see how you would just slide those little guys in there. They are a perfect fit. Okay, so it gives it nice shape. Then what we would do is just take, this is the crochet, the black crochet trim which is gorgeous. This is, it's the Halloween-y section, but you can totally use it for any holiday. And I would just tie a little bow on there. And again, there's a reason why I'm not doing it. Final step is we're gonna put a little dimensional on the back, and this is a little teeny hat. This is a piece of the designer paper as well. There's a sheet that's got all kinds of little witchy hats on it. And so I just cut one out, and I'm going to put that on Mr. Al because he needs to be fancy with his witchy hat on there. Okay, so here's what you come out with. This is the one with the kitty and the trick or treat, and that's our, our solid black baker's twine. There's the nuggets in there, and the same with this one, uh, the little owl. So the reason why I didn't put this one together is because I'm giving it away. So if you're watching this video and you would like to have this little nugget holder for yourself or to give away to a friend, leave me a comment with your name and I will do a drawing. Um, this video is going to air on Monday the 30th, so we'll do a Halloween drawing, okay? So um, I will pick a winner and announce it actually on the 1st. So you have until um, Halloween night at midnight, so you can get your trick-or-treating done. Make sure you comment by October 31st by midnight, and I will pick a winner first thing on November 1st. So let me know if you would like to have that, and that's why I'm going to leave it flat, so in case I need to mail it to you, you can go ahead and assemble it. Um, once you get it. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next week for Movie Monday.